Alright, hey guys, Fiddle Ferret here, and uh, let's go ahead and continue our playthrough of Kindred Spirits on the Roof. I'm still nervous about what I'm going to do when all of the other female characters show up, so I apologize if everyone starts to sound the same. Okay, so we're going to go uh, do the thing and talk to some girls and somehow turn them into lesbians, I guess, because obviously I guess all girls are lesbians. I don't think that, that's true. Just look it up. Anyway, oh, okay. Look closely at the girl who shares our feelings. Would you? And if you think you can, please help her just a little bit. I really have no intention of doing that, though. Sachi-san's smile was genuine and gentle as she spoke. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't blame her not wanting to force people to be lesbians. I mean, I'll be honest. But by golly, I guess you, I guess. The ghosts insinuate that they already know people, so I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> Come on, it's this way. After we met the entrance of the inner buildings, Sachi-sen walked ahead of me and down the hallway. Her movement was completely natural, but her feet didn't quite reach the floor, and instead hovering inches above it. We, uh, we seem to be about the same height, but her head rose just a bit above mine from the floating. It's here. Look around this corner. Oh, but don't be too conspicuous. She'll see us. So she said. I stood up. So she said. I stood on the stairs where they, <coughs> where they met the hallway and completely peeked out into the hall. Hello. We just want you to be lesbians now. We want you to be happy lesbians. Hello, little girl. <coughs> and I saw a girl standing against the wall right next to one of the third year classrooms. Her skirt was red, giving her away as a first year, one who'd been one who'd just begun school a few weeks ago, a girl I'd never seen. Can you see the girl? Yeah. I doubted the girl would be able to see Sachi-sen, but she stayed back she stayed back there with me on the stairs, maybe to keep me company. I was a little disturbed by Sachi-sen's transparent body, slightly overlapping with my own though. Can you tell what she's trying to do? What is she doing? She stayed out of the classroom the whole time we'd been watching her, merely glancing inside every so often. Maybe she has some business with an upperclassman inside? If that's it, she should just get on with it. Come and see what she has in her hand. What? Well, her hand? I can't really tell. Now that she mentioned it, it did look like the girl was clutching something to her chest, as if she held something, as if she held a precious object. I couldn't tell what it was from the distance, but it wasn't her bag, it was smaller. It's a letter. A letter? Oh. It did sort of look like a letter now. A letter? Uh, a first year student holding a letter in her hands after school, petrifi petrified before a classroom- Oh, excuse me! Mm, petrified before a classroom door. Could it be? That's right. She wants to give one of the girls in that class a letter she wrote. But you don't mean me to point out to point out that sort of letter it is, do you? You mean a love letter? Right. The girl's classmates are in the are in the room to the right are in the room right now. So she's been stuck this whole time, blocked from sneaking inside. Ah. The girl to whom the girl to whom she wants to deliver the letter isn't inside right now. So she must intend to put it in the girl's bag or desk. But she can't go inside with those other girls st still in there. Say, Yunisan? Huh? Yeah. How long do you think she's been here like this? Um... How long has it been since class ended today? 30 minutes or so? Not quite. She's been doing this ever since the Monday of the week before last. Every day after school, just like this. What? Two weeks ago? That long? Yes. She doesn't seem to have the courage to present her letter directly, so she's been waiting for a chance to leave it in in there, in here, this whole time. Say, Yuna-san. Uh, yes. Don't you think it took an awful lot of courage just to write that letter? And more than that, she's been waiting here every day. What courage do you think... What courage do you think she'd be able to muster if she were able to leave that letter there? I want to... 
Give girls like this a little push they need. I want to help them. When I see how serious she looks, I'm so frustrated with myself for being unable to help her. She's right. If the classroom were empty, that girl would probably find the courage to go inside. If it were empty, the reason she's been waiting outside is because of the whole, because of the people hanging out in there for two whole weeks now. So the people inside the classroom just need to come out, right? Huh? Yes, I suppose so. Let me try something. I sucked in a breath, putting together the words I would say, and... Hey, somebody, there's a dog in the school building! I shouted, putting on a bit of a voice. Huh? Ah, uh, Yuna-san! I glanced back into the hallway, ignoring Sachi-san's look of wide-eyed surprise. Did it work? Oh. Yes. I caught their, I caught their in interest with that shout, just as I'd expected to. Three third years emerged from the classroom, chatting as they jogged my way. They paid no mind to the first year standing frozen by the door. It worked. Let's hide, Sachi-san. Oh, right. <clears throat> I stole a quick glance back into the hallway. Aw, oh, yeah. Your mission accomplished. Just long enough to see the girl slip into the classroom. Yay, we did it! Yuri accomplished! It looks like she made it. Yes, yes, that was amazing, Yuna-san. It wasn't that great. Really, it wasn't. But for some reason, I felt a, I felt a slight satisfaction deep in my heart. Maybe it was just because I'd gotten to shout. That's what I decided to think, anyway. The girls who'd come out of the classroom walked further down the hallway, talking about something. I'd snuck up the stairs to avoid them. <laughs> I, saw, I sighed inadvertently. Why on earth did I do that? The satisfaction had disappeared, replaced with a heavier feeling. Thank you, Yuna-san. Could you return to the roof? Huh? Oh, sure. I just wanted to go home, but I'd already replied to her by the time I had realized it. I'll see you there. Sachi Sen said, passing straight through a window, just like a ghost. <laughs> With another sigh, I headed back down the stairs, and just then, the first year ran down the hallway towards me from the direction of the classroom. She passed by me, and in that instant, I saw the expression on her face. Oh my god! <laughs> she was bright red, and it almost looked like she was ready to burst into tears, yet... She looks so incredibly happy. I did it. With those little words, she ran off to the hallway connecting with the Hush Hushikin building. Aww. That is like one of the, like, the, doesn't matter if you're a girl, doesn't matter if you're a guy, that's the kind of thing. It's just so effing difficult to do when you're in high school. It's just, we all have been there as tough as nails. Oh! <coughs> You're finally back! Took you long enough! Well, some of us have to walk the way back. Sachi-san had already arrived on the roof. Welcome back, Yuna-san. I was a little winded from the climb up the stairs, but Sachi-san looked completely fine. Ghosts are unfair. I looked around the- <sighs> I looked around the classroom after, after everyone had left. It seems that she was able to leave her letter. <clears throat> Ooh, I got a drink! I've learned that with visual novels, if I don't drink, my reading gets worse because my mouth gets dry and I don't really realize it. So I'm going to try to drink more, even if it's like annoying and obnoxious for you guys. You'll have to deal with it. <clears throat> wow, Sachi-san, that's great. Yes, it is, and that was wonderfully clever of you, Yuna-san. Uh, oh, thanks. The compliment did nothing to improve my mood. I knew I was right about you, Yuna-san. You're incredible. Huh? Could I ask you continue helping us? Huh? What happened to just for today? What on earth is she saying? She was right about me. They would have taken anyone who could have seen them. It would be such a waste to leave it at just today. I would love it if you would help us tomorrow as well. B but that's... <clears throat> you don't want to do it. Don't threaten me! I, I don't want to help you with this! But you just did it! 
Th that's I had no choice. I really didn't mean to. No, seriously. Why did I do that? I don't even know myself. I can't believe I stuck my nose into the girl's business like that. Please, Yunasan. We're asking you so nicely, aren't we? I I have my own things to do, you know. I see. That's too bad. <clears throat> Has she given up? Could you think it over for just one night, then? Could you give us your answer tomorrow? No, she hasn't. I suppose I could at least think about it, though. I get it. Just let me think on it for a night. Really? You're not gonna change your mind? I'm telling you to let me think about it. If I decide I can't do it, then seriously, please give up. Yes, that's fine with us. Please give it some more thought. Don't you dare give us the right answer. You better give us the right answer tomorrow or else. Seriously, can I at least think about it? She really is going to curse me. Poor Yuna. All she wants to do <laughs> is not be forced <laughs> to be involved in Girl's Dove. But Girl's Dove, it can't be avoided. It can't be avoided, Yuna-san. <laughs> and praise the Yuri. Oh, this little kid speaking. Hina. Yuna ni seconds. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna get a kid's voice going. Yuna ni seconds. That's not, that's like baby voice. Right, right. So much had happened today, and so much had happened that I was having trouble processing it. But I managed to return to my routine somehow. I, I thought it over and took Hina's bowl. I, th I thought it over and took Hina's bowl from her and filled it with a second helping of rice. We've seen and spoken with spirits for the first time. I've seen and spoken with spirits for the first time in my life. And they'd even asked me for an extraordinary favor. After convincing them to allow me a night to make a decision, I'd gone home, my head practically bursting with the, bursting with the mess. Maybe that was for the best, since I don't think I'd have been able to organize it. In the end, I went shopping on the way home, as I always did, made dinner, and was now here eating with Hina. Her bowl refilled, Hina took it back from me and resumed scarfing down her rice energetically. Hina, my child- oh, it's a child- oh, it's a sister because she's so small. My childhood friend. So... Ko... Mano... Ko Mano Hina. Our houses are next to each other, and we've known each other since she was born. My mother and Hina's mother both work as nurses in the same hospital, so Hina comes over to our house to eat when they both have night shifts on the same day. She's she's a year younger than me and just started school at that school girls academy <laughs> of commerce this spring, like I did last year. She joined the track and field team off, right off the bat and came home hungry from it. Came home hungry from it again today. Oh, so she's not actually. A, I thought she was a younger sister. <clears throat> What's up, Unity? So she's like a childhood friend, we'll make her like a tomboy type, I guess. Cause we like stereotypes. Uh-huh. What was that? You're really quiet today. Y you think so? Maybe <clears throat> she may be right. I don't think I've been totally lost in thought, but my mind is still sort of a mess. I don't really remember saying much to her after getting home. Uh how was practice today? Uh I ran a lot. I, I see. Um, how's the food? I didn't mess it up, did I? It's good. I see. This isn't good. I can barely carry on a conversation. I'm sorry. I'm just thinking about something right now. No, it's fine. I was just curious. You've been thinking about something. You don't need... <coughs> you don't need me to worry about you. Mm, thanks. Tell me when you're done eating that. I'll bring out... I'll bring out dessert. Okay. It's nice that Hina doesn't pry like this. After after thanking her, my thoughts drifted back to today, to what the ghost had asked me to do, and and to what I did for the first year girl. Why on earth did I do that? It was none of my business. I was just meddling. But but her face when I passed her in the hallway, so happy on the verge of tears. I f finally having done what I'd been waiting. Waiting weeks to do, a first year, 
The same as Hina, huh? Could they know each other? Oh, plot twist! <laughs> if I help those ghosts, will I end up doing more things like I did today? <sighs> also, girls can have romantic relationships with other girls. Things those girls haven't even asked me to do, but... Uni, I'm done. Ah, you're finished. Yep, I'm full. I looked down at the table to find that Hina had cleared her plate. Looks like I have to- looks like I gave her just the right amount. I'll get a dessert then. Strawberries were cheap today. How do you want to eat them? That's not dessert! It's fruit! <laughs> just plain. You got it. I opened the fridge door and pulled out the chilled strawberries. I'll just have them plain too. Still thinking, Uni. Hmm, yeah, a bit. It's not really important though. Somebody asked me to do something a little troublesome, so I'm just trying to decide if I should help them or not. Really? You didn't just do it. You should just do it instead of thinking about it. <laughs> That's just like you, Hina. No, it's just like you, Uni. Yuna ni? I should just say Yuna because it's easier. Huh? You always used to you always used to just do it, Yuna. Like in middle school. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> Is that how I used to be? Did I just used to do it instead of worrying? <clears throat> you should just do do what you want to do, Yuna. You think so? What I want to do, huh? What do I want to do? Their request, that first year's face, the feeling I got after I shouted, they swirled around inside my head on and on. Hmm... Dun 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 dun! Do I need to click? No, I don't. Dang it! What did I click? Um, sticker screens uh, from the planner. You can view near screens or recall scenes you've already been. Head. Okay. All right. Daily memo. Clicking on a sticker will open a daily memo. Okay. All right. Did I go here by accident? Return to game. What am I doing? Next! Okay. Wait! Yes! What? Please! Huh? What's happening? I don't know what's going on! Got it! Got it! I just had to click the text. Okay! I am mentally challenged. Wow! I'm so smart. Hello, have you considered our request? Well, what about your answer then? The two I'd met yesterday were waiting for me when I came up to the roof with my lunch. They didn't hesitate to call out to me. Yes, I did... I did a lot of thinking. In the end, I hadn't really been able to make up my mind. I'd turned it over and over in my head and hadn't really gotten me anywhere. Eventually, I asked myself, what do I do now? And remembered what Hina had said. I'll help you for the time being. I'll just do it. If it doesn't go well, I'll worry about it then. After all, after all of my thinking, what tipped the scales was the look on that girl's face as the words Hina and the words Hina had said to me. Really? I'll curse you if you're lying. I wouldn't lie. Thank you. I'm glad you agree. But I have one condition. Oh, what might that be? I don't want to do this openly. I'll only help from the shadows, like I did yesterday. Ah, I see. Hmm, well, I guess it's probably not something to be all obvious about. Yes, yes, that's perfectly fine. We'll, uh, we'd just like to give them a l little pushes, just a little bit of help. And this is just a little thing. But I have to help out at home, so I won't be able to do it every day, especially not Wednesdays. Very well. You only need to help when you want to. If that's alright, then I'll help you. Da -da -da -da! Mission <laughs> start. Uh, Yuri ghosts are pleased. We've pleased the Yuri ghost gods. And now all is well. But anyway, guys. I think that's a decent place to end. We'll go ahead and end here, and we will continue on next time in the next one. So I'll catch you back on the prowl. Bye-bye!